Hi Pisces, welcome to your May 2022 love tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing great out there. If you are new to this channel, welcome, Badison into the tarot. In today's read, Pisces, I'm gonna be pulling in your person's current feelings for you, their view of you in May, and their actions towards you in May, along with your feelings towards them. Then, towards the end of the read, I will get their hidden message. This could either be what they secretly wish to say to you but won't for whatever reason, or what they're about to say to you in May. All right, good stuff. So let's do this. I've already pre-shuffled. I'm just giving it a few more goes so you feel more connected to your read. Pisces, May 2022, love. What do we have? The one on their mind, please. Pisces, love, May 2022. One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful water babies. Okay, Pisces, your person's current feelings for you. We have the Knight of Cups. This is your energy. So with the Knight of Cups being your person's current feelings, they're telling me that they have romantic feelings for you. They could be falling in love with you or already full-blown in love with you, okay, and wanting to explore this some more. Their current view of you or their view of you in May, the Five of Pentacles, they may be viewing you as ignoring them, not really responding to their text messages as much, or they're getting the sense that you're about to ghost them for good, okay? Not a good feeling when you've got the romantic feels for somebody, right? I don't know about you, but the moment I start feeling romantic towards somebody and then they start slowly fading away with their communication, you know, spikes up the anxiety. All right, so this person's actions towards you in May. The Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is the energy of making an effort, all right? Seeing the value in somebody and wanting to put that effort in. So maybe you are pulling away in May because you may feel like this person is not really stepping it up, isn't showing you that they care about you, isn't showing you that they do have romantic feelings, and you're over here like, you gotta share that with me. If I don't know how you feel, how am I supposed to, you know, come towards you accurately, okay? So let's get your feelings for them. The Five of Wands, Leo energy. So right now, Pisces, the energy I'm getting off of you, or at least going into the month of May, is you're feeling frustrated. You're feeling like your voice has not been heard. You may feel like this person doesn't understand where you're coming from, or that they don't share their feelings with you the way that you want them to. Or you feel like they're not making the effort that you're hoping for them to make. Okay, the love is there. The love is there for this person. It's not like the Queen and King of Cups type of love, but it's getting there. So I feel like this person wants to explore something with you, but they're seeing you pulling away because of, you know, how you're feeling inside. And you came up with two fives. Fives are the numerological number for chaos and conflict and challenges, right? So I'm going to clarify this and see what's really going on, and then we'll go from there. What's the overall energy? Two of Wands. Being at a crossroads, unable to make a solid decision just yet of which direction to take. All right, and I do have the Three of Cups coming in, so I feel like your person enjoys being around you. They feel like you bring out the best in them. You light up their life. So what's going on? And now I see the King of Swords, so maybe you've got someone that doesn't show emotions, don't share emotions, and just you don't really know what you're getting with this person. They'll, they'll stand there and smile at you, but you never know what's really behind that smile. So you might have someone that's very guarded with their feelings, all right? They're falling for you, but they're not letting you in on it, okay? So let's find out more. Why is the Knight of Cups this person's feelings for Pisces? Why is the Knight of Cups this person's feelings for Pisces, please? The Wheel of Fortune, dang. And then on the bottom I have the Ace of Cups. So Pisces, this person feels like you were faded into their life, that you were part of some sort of big change for them. Okay, they see you as someone very, very significant to them. Because the Wheel of Fortune is the energy of, you know, two people destined to meet each other. You know, nothing is by accident. And when it's in the upright position, it's the energy of something working out for your highest good in your favor. So this person's feeling the desire to have something work out in their highest good. They want something to work out. And with that Ace of Cups being on the bottom, you've got someone that has a lot of heart for you. Their heart chakra has been activated by you. And right now they're keeping tabs on you with the Page of Swords. They're checking up on you, wanting to know why you're slithering away from their life with that Five of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, just for some, there might be another person in the mix. I say that because in this person's feelings for you, there's one woman and two men, and then their view of you is, 
you know, someone standing outside of a church altar looking at the silhouette of two people. So I don't know if some of you guys have somebody new that you're talking to because you feel like this person is just not getting it and not putting in the effort that you're looking for. Or for some of you, this person may have needed to make a choice between lovers, whether to leave a past in the past and to build a life with you with no you know, other outside parties, or there's a decision needing to be made between where this connection could go and someone here feels stuck. You could be connecting with a fire sign. So right now they feel like they have to just check up on you and you know watch you from afar with that page of swords because they don't know what to make of you right now with that five of pentacles for how they view you. So let's dig in. Why are they viewing Pisces as the five of pentacles? You could have Taurus in your chart or this is coming down during Taurus season which we're currently in right now. Five of Pentacles, why are they viewing Pisces as the Five of Pentacles? The King of Wands, this person is viewing you as hot stuff and knowing your worth, having a lot of confidence to assert your confidence. Did that make sense? Hold on, rewind. Um, they are viewing you as being very confident and not needing to settle for any BS. All right, so they're viewing you as taking that passion wand that you have and maybe putting it back on yourself, putting all that energy back on yourself that you were giving to this person, okay? And you're not being as, you know, invested in them. But they're also viewing you as checking up on them as well. Maybe they feel like you uh, dug in on a little bit of their life and you may have discovered something you didn't like about them. Because the more we go digging, we eventually find something, just like a doctor, right? <laughs> My aunt always says, the more you let a doctor dig and dig and dig, they're eventually gonna find something to diagnose you with. And this is how this person's viewing you. Like you research them, whether on social media, or within yourself, or you ask people, mutual friends about this person, and the more you learned about them, the more you felt like, I don't know, this is not gonna work out. Maybe you found out that there was another person that this person was talking to, and now you're just feeling upset, and there's some jealousy um, being developed here, whether on your end or their end. But they are viewing you as, you know, a very loving and nurturing person with that empress popping up. But now I see the queen of wands, so I do feel like there is like a standoff right now. Why is the Eight of Pentacles their next actions towards Pisces? Actually, I want to get a card on your feelings. I want to know why you feel this way. Why does Pisces feel the Five of Wands towards this person? Could be a Leo that you're connecting to. Why the Five of Wands? I have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom and I have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys just want something very stable. You're waiting on a offer from this person that you can actually count on, that is consistent, that is not going to be like flaky on you. You're wanting something stable. And if you don't get it, I feel like you're, you know, putting this person on the back burner while you focus on your money, your goals, your aspirations, but you are saying that you are, you know, still open to something with them. That heart is there for them to scoop up if they're willing. But for the most part, a lot of you guys are just focusing on your finances and your own personal achievements, goals that you have set for yourself until this offer comes in. And if it's nothing other than the Ace of Pentacles, you don't want nothing to do with it. You're like, yeah, I, I can't depend on just love and love alone. I need some stability is what you're saying here. But I do see them stepping up with that eight of pentacles. And it does look like they do appreciate the bond that you guys share, even if it's at a friendship level right now and you're wanting to explore it further. Why the eight of pentacles as their actions towards Pisces? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. I love you, Pisces. And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. Why the eight of pentacles? The hanged man. Your person feels kind of stuck in what to do here, but they are trying to figure out what they should do next. And they are trying to figure out how to make more of an effort that you will notice that they do care about you. But right now, I feel like this person is laying in their bed next to their phone wanting to know why you're not really reaching out as much as you did before, why you're not as open and nurturing and vulnerable with them as you once were in the past. Because it does look like you guys have some sort of cozy connection here. And this person's like, where is this going? All right, someone might even need to let go of something. But I feel like this person's trying to see your point of view in the month of May because the more you withdraw your energy, the more they're gonna feel frustrated and, and hurt and feeling defeated that this connection is on its way out the door if they don't do something quick. Why is the Three of Cups here? 
So I feel like if you guys are not in a relationship, you guys are at the very least friends that have developed feelings for each other with that Three of Cups because that's my dating card, but also my friends that have emotional connections to each other card. Why the Three of Cups? It's also a reconciliation energy. Ten of Cups. And then I got Temperance on the bottom and I have Judgment and the Page of Cups. I feel like you both are open to where this connection could go only if both parties compromise with each other with the temperance card and both meet each other in the middle to where you guys can make this relationship work or develop or even get off the ground where both parties feel um, like their feelings are being recognized. I feel like you just want to be heard. I feel like you just want to be heard Pisces and right now this person may be taking advantage of your kind nature. You guys are very loving individuals. I have so many Pisces in my life. You guys are just so, so loving and compassionate. You just want someone to match that energy. So let me get a hidden message. So I feel like you got someone that's wanting to step it up with that Eight of Pentacles. Because, yeah, I, I feel like this person's seeing your perspective, your point of view in the month of May, if you started pulling back your energy in the month of April. Or some of you guys are pulling back your energy at the start of May and this person's gonna, you know, towards the end of the month, make some changes. Hit a message for Pisces, please. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. Isn't that pretty much what I just said? That's pretty much looking at the hanged man energy. A little bit of time is gonna give this person clarity and see your point of view, okay? Um, I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. And I said that earlier with the Three of Cups. Your energy brings out the best in them or your presence is just something that they really appreciate. Last card. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for far too long. And you guys, I got some additional cards I want to pull. These are called month of the year. So I'm going to pull one card. This card, the month that appears could be the month of the person that you're dealing with, what month they were born in, or the month that you met, or the month that things are going to move forward for you guys. Let's see. One month for Pisces. What month is significant for the Pisceans that are viewing this? July. July is a very important month for you in this connection, whether that's when your person was born, when you guys met, or when the connection is going to go into a level that you know, you're know you wanting, okay? Something significant in July. So you could be connecting with a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Taurus, um, but it could be anybody, all right? So I hope this reading helped. I love you, Pisces. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. I love you. Take care.